Sophie, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through a few more masteries with hoop that you can do in a relatively small space, such as your home. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, not much else to explain there, but I just wanted to remind you guys that there are only a few days left to get 10% off your Venturelli RG toe shoes, toe socks, and training socks using the code SOPHIE4 at checkout. Again, this code is only available for a few more days until this Sunday, October 11th. So make sure you guys go check that out at venturelli.ca before the time is up. But yeah, all you're gonna need for this tutorial is a hoop and just a little bit of space, so let's get started. For the first mastery, you'll put your right leg inside the hoop and you're gonna bring it to the left side. And then you'll bring your left leg back and sort of support the hoop with your hip as you lean forward. And then all you're gonna do is switch your legs and kick the right one up and the hoop should just rotate on your right leg. And then you're gonna just grab the hoop and pass through it. So we're gonna work on this mastery five times and the same goes for all the other masteries that we're gonna be trying in this video. When you're doing this mastery, try to keep your legs at a 90 degree angle and make the switch nice and quick. And you also want to try to stabilize the hoop with your left hip as you're bringing your body down so that the rotation ends up straight. Moving on now, you're now going to have the hoop behind you and you're going to hold the hoop between your left foot and your neck. And then from there, you're going to come into a front walkover and when your legs meet at the top, you'll switch your right foot in and the hoop should finish rotating there. To get a better idea of the transmission here, you can hold the hoop between your left hand and foot and then try bringing the right hand in and rotating from there. This is what you want to try to do with your feet later. And just for your information, when the hoop is rotating on your right leg, it should be rotating inwards. We're going to do the next mastery in two parts. So first off, you're going to be rotating the hoop on your neck, and then when the rotation is right, you'll bring your head down and transfer the hoop to your left foot, which should be out to the side and flexed. Now once the hoop is on your left foot, you're going to keep it in the air and bring it up into a handstand, then you'll transfer the hoop to your right leg and come up into a front walkover. And of course, if you're a lefty, then all of this will be reversed. So this is what the whole thing should look like, and it's actually a combination of two different masteries. Yeah, sometimes this one doesn't always work out and you're gonna end up completely passing through the hoop like I just did here, but don't worry about it, just keep working on it and you'll get it. But one tip I would have for this one is to really get the momentum going with the hoop once it comes onto that left foot so that it has enough power to keep rotating on your second foot. We're going to be down on the floor for this next one and lying on your back, you're going to rotate the hoop on your right leg and then transfer it to the left leg like this.
Then what you're actually going to do from there is rotate onto your stomach and you're going to transfer the hoop back to your right leg while this is happening. So all together it should end up looking something like this. This one definitely takes a lot of practice and the timing has to be just right, so don't be discouraged if you can't get this one right away, it certainly took me a while to do. You can initiate the rotation of the hoop however you want, but to get enough momentum in the rotation, I like to start with the hoop on my neck and then just take it with my right foot which is flexed at the beginning. We are going to be staying on the ground for this last mastery, and this time the hoop is going to be rotating around both legs. Then as the hoop is rotating, you'll do sort of this fish flop rotation over your shoulder and land on your stomach, and then you're going to be trapping the hoop with your legs. So this is essentially what it should look like. This one is pretty straightforward so it doesn't require much more explanation so you guys can go ahead and just try it out for yourself. And that's it. Great job. And yeah, that is going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you tried out any of these masteries and how you did because I'd love to know. But anyways, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe down below, turn on my post notifications and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys on Sunday with a brand new video. Bye.